Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Richie from Boston. Today is the 13th of September, 2016, and I want to cover cover a couple of topics today. I'm out of wind because I just got home. <clears throat> I had a lot of running around to do today, and I went to Home Depot, and somebody broke into my Jeep. Not only did they desecrate my vehicle by breaking the rear window, they also stole two backpacks that were fully loaded out of the back. And that really pisses me off because I don't know how insurance is going to deal with that. But at any rate, I'm over here at the University of Rochester website, and they have a, they have an article up called Cloaking Devices Uses Ordinary Lenses to Hide Objects Across Range of Angles. Check that out. Pretty intense, right? Well, let's hear what they have to say about this. So cloaking is essentially just an optical illusion and people have been doing that for hundreds of years. There have been many high-tech approaches to uh, try and achieve cloaking and the basic idea behind these high-tech or exotic materials is to take light and have it pass around something as if it isn't there. And so we just figured a very simple way of doing that can just be using standard lenses and things that we would normally find in the lab. What we've tried to develop is a simplified version of a perfect cloaking device for small angles and what we've done is we've simplified it to a four lens system and as you can see all we've used are off-the-shelf optics that we can get from any of the optical stores and the great thing about this is is it can be scalable to any size that you can make the lenses but the most important thing that we've done so far is this is the first device that we we know of that can do three-dimensional continuous multi-directional cloaking so if you have rays that go at different angles you can have the cloaking device still cloak it while what you see in the background is shifted accordingly without any distortion or changes say we place an object in our case a ruler in the middle if we didn't have the lenses we would be able to see the ruler but what the lenses do is the lenses actually cloak the ruler. So if you were standing right here and you look straight through, what would happen is the rays would focus and then diverge out. So it actually bends the light around the ruler so that you won't be able to see the ruler if you looked at it straight down. So we have slightly more complicated designs where an object can be cloaked entirely, but we've tried to simplify our design and what we have is where the light goes through the center of the design, so that cannot be blocked. So the cloaking region is actually a ring-shaped area on the outside rather than the center. People have been fascinated with cloaking for a very long time, and it's recently been a really popular thing, for example, in science fiction, also in Harry Potter. But I think people are really excited by the prospect of just being invisible. For scientists, it's also very fascinating because we can actually put math and science behind that to make that a reality. Uh, even though that's been a difficult subject to implement, uh, it's very fascinating scientifically too. A production of the University of Rochester. Please visit us. Now remember, <clears throat> when it comes to public view, when they allow us to see this stuff, this means they've had it. They've had it perfected, and it's in use now. This is a short clip from uh, Japanese researchers. Check this stuff out. It was once something that belonged only to science fiction, but now Japanese researchers have created technology that's the first step towards making objects invisible. The technology comes from 2003, but its developers say the Harry Potter-like invisibility cloak is just the beginning. The team, led by Dr. Susumu Tachi from Keio University, is now adapting its findings to help pilots, drivers, doctors and others. Retro-reflective projection technology uses a computer, a video camera and projector to shine background images onto the front of a subject wearing specialised clothing, creating the illusion of invisibility. The technology unique is a fabric made of glass beads only 50 microns wide, which can reflect light directly back at the source, much like a movie screen. Now we knew about this technology. The military had been using it. They've been using it to cloak tanks, all sorts of things. But this new thing, this new 
setup that they're showing at the University of Rochester is actually stuff you can buy yourself. It's that available now. So imagine the technology that's walking around us, that's in the skies, that's all around us right now that our loving and caring government is using against us. At any rate, <clears throat> I had a chance to meet up with Brother Ken, one of my YouTube subscribers, and you guys see him all the time in the YouTube comment section. Brother Ken has started this chant, this website, and it's not coming up. It's the Richie from Boston website. And I'm going to leave a link in the description. I'm not exactly sure how to even use it myself. I had a chance to meet up with Brother Ken again today. And he was gracious enough to allow me to borrow his Nikon P900 camera, which I use to videotape the sun again today. And I'm working on that footage now, and I'll get that out to you pretty soon. He's a really great guy. He started this website. I just learned how to sign into it for the first time today. But if what we think is going to start happening in October with ICANN and the censoring of YouTube, everyone might have to start just communicating through websites if we're even able to do that. But I will leave you a link in the description. I believe you can simply go here and register. It doesn't cost anybody anything. And fortunately, I was smart enough not to travel around with Brother Ken's camera today because if I did, it would be gone. Thankfully, it's locked up safely at my house. Anyways. If anybody tries to sell you a Mystery Ranch backpack, hit me up on email, will ya? RJCJR10 at yahoo.com. Richie from Boston. I am out.